Hey fam, it's your girl, Miss Diva Trucker, and I am here, honey. I'm getting out my truck. Let me see, this might be my lift. Oh no, that's not him. Wait, I thought it, it might be my lift driver. Is that him? Okay, he's in a Nissan Rogue. Okay, he, that was him. That's my lift driver right there. He just passed me up. Hold on, y'all. I'm over here getting unloaded. My load don't deliver until in the morning. There got my truck right there. So, you know, the crab legs don't come to you, baby. You got to go to the crab legs. So, my load don't deliver until, Lord, the driver don't, where, where the driver go? Driver, he don't see, I said, in the LTI truck, LTI truck right there. I said, in the LTI truck, he passed me right on by. Here I am. Here my lift driver, y'all. Here he come. But uh, I'm on my way going to. I got me a cup so I can get me some ice. Hello. How are you? Thank you. I'm going I wasn't to. Sure, if it was that one or that. Huh? One. You wasn't sure. <laughs> I didn't see the 6757 number. Oh, yeah. All right, we got you now. And uh, we're going to a couple of stops here. We're going to just one stop. We're going to get some crab legs. Uh -huh. And, and then I'm here. coming back to my truck. Okay, cool. Is that okay? Yeah, I like crab legs. All right. I'm on my live feed, on my YouTube live. You don't mind, huh? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, you got the window there. Oh, you oh that's, that's fine. You good? Uh -uh, I was trying to put my seat belt on. You say YouTube uh, feed, where we're saying like uh, you're doing a show. Yeah, well, I have a, like a little YouTube channel that I have that I update on what I'm doing and where I'm going and things cool. like that, and me driving a truck and all that kind of stuff. So Sounds you know, it passes the time away, and um, and how you live out here on the road. So see, I had to come over here for my delivery in the morning. And I want crab legs. Yeah. So I'm a little bit too far for them to deliver my crab legs to me. So why not just catch you? You could take me to go get the right. crab legs, right? Mohammed's gotta go to the mountain. That's right. You would take me to go get the crab legs. And then we could ride on back. I can have crab legs in my truck. I brought me a cup. Maybe they can give me a cup of ice in there while I'm in there as well. So no since my load don't deliver to in the morning, I could sit there and eat my crab legs and all that kind of stuff, huh? So it wasn't that far, it's only like 17 miles. So that's what y'all could do if y'all are um, up here. I'm in uh, Bartlett, Illinois. And um, if y'all not familiar, y'all seen me go to the Crazy Crab before. I've already called ahead of time so they can have my order together. Blue, I wanted some blue crabs. You eat crabs? Sure. You eat, you eat crab legs? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, wanted some blue crabs. And, um, they're out of season right now. Oh, okay. And I also wanted some uh the Dungeness crab. I like them as well. The and then yeah, they out of season too. Oh, no. So I'm stuck with getting the snow crabs. I mean, if you know how much I love crabs, okay? Oh yeah. It's been a while since I had some. So since I'm this close, like 17 miles from Crazy Crab. That's a new, I'm, that's a new chain up here. No, they've been work. up here a while. Oh, I mean, well, I'm yeah. saying in general. In general, that yeah, yeah okay. Totally you ever ate that before? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So. Who doesn't like that? I know, I know. So I love it. I love. It's kind of messy, but you know, you have to do what you have to do. But I jobs knew. To have. Yeah, and I knew that they wasn't going to take me. It was a possibility that they wasn't going to take me. But I'd rather be early than late. So I just came on up here. And since they got, you know, plenty of parking, whatever the case may be, I could just ride around and go get me something to eat and yeah. then go on back to the truck and then for my meal, huh? That sounds like the truck's pretty comfortable. Yeah, nice yeah I got everything in there. there. Yeah. Got two beds and a... Um, two beds? Yeah, okay. refrigerator. Uh, microwave. I got everything in there you can cook with, but I don't have any crab legs. <laughs> so, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. But, um, so you got like a power generator or something? Yeah, I got it's called I got an inverter. 
Okay. So it's so like it's a, mm -hmm. so I can run everything that I need on my inverter. You know, everything that I need to plug up, um, I run on my inverter. But I want to recha, I, I want to like um, change some things around because I want to get a bigger refrigerator and things like that to be comfortable in my truck. Yeah. But y'all, I am headed to the crab leg place um, to go get my crab legs. And um, then I'm going back to the truck. But this is what I wanted to show y'all. So, you know, if you out here delivering your load, trucking, driving is a lifestyle. So sometimes you got to make it happen, do what you want to do. You can, you don't have to always be in that truck. You don't have to always be in that truck. Call somebody, come pick you up. And Ripley is uh, in the truck. I put the APU on for him. So he'll be nice and cool when I get back. And I'm just going to ride out for a minute, go on and pick up my order, and then come on back. I would order Grub. They do have Grubhub, and they do have DoorDash, which is amazing. I've had um, them deliver food for me as well, but I didn't want nothing that they had to offer. I feel like seafood tonight. So since I feel like seafood tonight, that's where I'm going. I'm going to get me some seafood. So, you know, you can't let that truck stop you. And I got up here early as what? What time is about what seven o'clock? Six eleven. It's not that bad. Get back, get a nice sleep. They got a bathroom and everything inside, so you don't have to worry about that. And get unloaded. Then I'm headed over to uh Mount Sterling again after I get finished with this. And then y'all, I got my load going to um I got my load going to uh South Haven. So that's my load that I'm gonna be going down to the Carmesha Thomas event. That is going to be Saturday. Um, I've already made my reservations at the Isla Capri Casino Resort in Lula, Mississippi, where they will have truck parking down there. So can't wait to see everybody that decides to attend. Hopefully you all will be able to make it. You know, it's going to be a good event. You know, we don't want to forget about her. And thank you for the donations. And we ordered the plates, got the uh, t-shirts, got that order, got the food ordered, and tonight what I'm going to do is, um, uh oh, tonight what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, sit down to make sure that all the plates and everything is right. So there's like a rib plate, and then there's like a cheeseburger plate. So we're supposed to have like a cake down there, if y'all want to come down there, play some cards, play some spades, you know, and just fellowship with the and let her know that we didn't forget about her daughter uh, my email is nice well I can give you my um, what's the name email it's missdivatrucker at gmail.com so it's real easy missdivatrucker at gmail.com is my email address um, the other thing that I'm planning for y'all is to get ready for mass okay the mid American truck show gas is over with the great American truck show which was in Dallas Texas that is over with so we got to get ready for mass so this is what I'm doing for next year I want to be down there where the trucks are in the truck parking um, at the Papa John Stadium so instead of me getting a Airbnb like I usually do at Matt's this time I am getting a huge travel trailer okay it's going to be the like I got the biggest RV that they have in Louisville Kentucky okay so I want to set up now the only thing is I want to get one of them RVs that have like a porch with it y'all see one of them they have like a little porch with it and all this kind of stuff. I want one of them RVs that got like a TV outside, a kitchen outside. Um, talked to a man yesterday and he said that all I got to do is just pay for it and he sets up everything. I don't have to do anything but arrive. So whenever I get to Matt's in, um, in March, it's like the last week in March, whenever I get to the Mid-America Truck Show, all I got to do is show up. He's going to have the whole RV set up. He, he, he told me that I don't have to worry about I can cook as much as I want to. Um, He's going to have a generator with it. I can use it as much as I want to. Uh, the only thing I'm a little concerned about is the water. Okay, so, but I know that they got showers out there. The TA got showers out there. But um, that's what I'm concerned about is to make sure that I got enough water for the RV because I want to be able to take my own showers and my own private RV. Okay, um, 
they got the uh the the he said he got like a sound like or whatever the case may be but he said once i do it i'm gonna always want a camper or an rv or whatever the case may be at any kind of event so this year i'm gonna try it out well that's gonna be for next year but march i plan on being probably will arrive a day early uh, which is going to be that Wednesday and he's going to leave it set up for me all the way up until uh, Sunday and then he'll be able to uh, take it away and I don't have to do anything he said all I have to do is show up he's going to put one of them patio mats in the front where you can uh, sit down and have he's going to put some lawn chairs out there um, I want some like uh, I don't know if I could be able to put the little tiki you know the little lighter tiki's I want to be able to have a little fire pit maybe for some uh, s'mores or something like that um what else that's it y'all but um yeah I'm excited I want to plan early so I'm not waiting until the last minute to uh, do the event but I'm gonna spend a lot of time because we won't be at a, a booth or anything for Matt so basically that's just gonna be like walking around and enjoying and networking and getting to know people and just having my business cards or whatever but you know since I'm gonna be set up in the parking lot at Matt's I might as well work okay so anybody out there that's gonna be looking for a job or looking to move or whatever the case may be I could be in the parking lot doing applications all day every day okay so it's gonna be amazing I can't wait uh, we almost to the um, Matt we we're going to crazy crab right mm -hmm. it's called crazy crab so we almost to the crazy crab my um, Lyft driver is gonna wait for me until I get out of uh, get my food I already called ahead of time to get it so all I should have to do is just walk in here pick up my food get a ride back to my truck and um have my dinner for tonight how about that that's an expensive dinner right back and forth but i want to show y'all what crazy crab is up here if you're up here in the streamwood area uh the um what is it bartlett bartlett area or streamwood or anything y'all have a delivery up here you know always you could catch you a lift and go get you something to eat it don't have to be crazy crab whatever your favorite restaurant is just call them ahead of time and let them know that uh whatever it is that you want get out the truck go get it come back eat your food get a good night's sleep get a get up in the morning get delivered and go on about your merry way but i haven't had y'all know i haven't had crab legs in a while okay so you know forgive me all right but do you live out this way or are you just driving out this way? No, I live out this way. You live out this yeah, way? I'm okay. Working. You stay pretty busy out this way? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Very busy. This is a nice area, though. It is. It is. It's like, you ever pick up truck drivers before? Yeah, all the time. Really? All they the be time. calling you all the time? Yeah. What about at the truck stop or what? Uh, not just truck stops. Just like where they drop off they a load. They drop off a load and call hotel, you. Go to dinner. Go to an airport. They gotta fly home. Go to another truck. Uh huh. Go to the maintenance. You know, I got. I would say twenty percent of my rides are truck drivers. Are truck drivers? Yeah, because think about it. That was something that they never had before. I know. I this, know. This is great for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Where you can't take the the truck, I can take. You. Yep. You know. That, <laughs> so, that's right. And I'm thankful for it because yeah. if not, I wouldn't be able to get my crab made. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I, I've, I've had truckers that are broken down. I, I come pick. Them and up. you come pick them up. And then the tow truck will come get their rig, and then you know. You take them where they need to go. Okay. Well, that's good. It is. It is. But sometimes, you know, I may be in an area like. I know like up here I don't have a problem but sometimes I'll be in an area where they don't have you know services that I can get to go somewhere you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so it's kind of hard that way but up here in this area in the Chicago area no nah, you don't have no problem you get anywhere you want to go absolutely and get whatever you want <laughs> yeah and get whatever it is that you, you want can find whatever you want up here so whatever you like <laughs> but yeah you stay busy would you stay, you doing this all night or what time you stop? Oh, uh, you're my last ride. Oh, that's it? After, yeah, after I, me? I'm just working you a couple hours right now. Oh, I'm lucky to get you because there wasn't that many cars in the area. No. You Did you what, see today, that? Today seems to be a little slow day. Slow after the holiday? But it was steady for me. You know, I had no problems. Yeah. And so I, when I you, only worked about two and a half hours, so, but I was steady the whole time. 
You do something else? No, this is all I this do. This is all you do? All okay. I do. Uh-uh. I'm you not, know, a lot of folks have cheater. three, four jobs. They, I'm yeah. doing this for a couple of hours. I be doing that for a couple of hours. I'm an underachiever. You, oh. <laughs> That's all folks. They be delivering the food and picking up the people. <laughs> they be delivering the food and picking up the people at the same time, boy. I tell you. It's crazy. I be watching videos and stuff. Folks be having four or five things going on. But yeah, it's good. And then you go anywhere you want to and pick up folks. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Folks say I had one man that came and picked me up in St. Louis, but he didn't live in St. Louis. He lived in like Texas or something like that. Really? And he said uh, wherever he is, he could just turn on his phone and do what he got to do. So you know, I was wondering about that. I wasn't sure if that's how it works. Yeah, he said, anyway, you go, if you go on vacation, whatever the case may be, and you want to make like some extra money, you just turn the phone on just wherever he at and make right. some money. So, I'm not quite that ambitious. <laughs> yeah, but I like this area. This is a nice area up here. They okay. got some nice houses and all that kind of stuff. Let me see. Uh, where is Matt's? Matt's is in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Matt's is the largest. I'm telling you, y'all go to Matt's Gats. This year, I was surprised at the Great American Truck Show because the parking lot wasn't full at all, y'all. And there wasn't a lot of people walking around there at all. It was very disappointing this year as far as the Great American Truck Show, okay? Um, people was not spending the money that they usually spend and i'm 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 kind of waiting to see if uber is going to do some of that mats like they did because like this year i don't even think they did anything in the truck parking lot that was all the um i think that was like the saint christopher fund or truckers found a mile i think they had something to do with it but i don't know if uber showed their presence at gas like they i know they didn't at the um truck show they just had a little booth, a couple of people out there, and that was it. But nobody showed, like, really showed out this year that I could think of. It was just average. It was just average. It wasn't a big event. But Mats is the big event. The Mats is where you got the South Wing, the North Wing, the West Wing, the uh, East Wing. You got all kinds of wings. I've never been so confused in, in my life when I went there. But everything go down in the parking lot so i want to be at the parking lot all three days but i don't want to uh be in my truck so it's gonna be rv time camping time and i am planning way ahead of time so i don't have to worry about none of that the only thing about the rv and a camper is um they don't have any water and no no uh supplies for it like there's no hookups on the parking lot so whatever you get you got to be uh like self-contained so that's one of the major things that i'm doing is making sure that i'm self-contained um the rvs they rent from anywhere between 200 to 400 dollars a night okay so you can imagine what you get for 400 dollars um like for four hundred dollars a night it's going to be one of them rvs that you drive okay one of them that you drive so i don't really want to drive i mean I, I don't i'm not driving so i don't really want to drive the rv i just want one of those travel trailer campers that um that you set up and um open it up wide and you know plenty of space for everybody to enjoy i was looking at the ones with the porch they have ones with a porch they call them talk toy haulers and um i was looking at those so i wanted just to have enough room um you know for anybody that want to stop out pop out trailers yeah but i wanted like 44 feet long i want as big as like my trailer so i want a real big one and i want to have my own little private area so i can have my you know my bedroom and all that kind of stuff y'all we have made it to um crazy crab we have made it to crazy crab so i'm gonna get in here running here and get my crab legs hold on one second y'all hold on i'll be right back okay they should already have it ready for me. No problem. But there's a sign right there, Crazy Crab. So we're about to go in here and get my crab 
legs, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, they do deliver, but they don't deliver to my place. Hello, how are you? I had a to-go order. Um, Brock, B-R-L-C-K, Tamara. Huh? Yes. So here's that menu, y'all. Let me see. Y'all can y'all see the menu? Here's the menu. Uh oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, it's already ready. Ah, that's good. That's good. Let me sign my. Hold on, let me see. Did I sign it right? Uh-oh. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. Uh-oh, y'all. I got my food right here. And I'm getting back in the car. That was quick, huh? Yes, I want to ask them if I could, um, wonder if they'll give me a cup of ice. You think they'll give me a cup of ice? I don't think so. It's a convenience store. I think I got some. I, I'm gonna be okay. I think I got some ice in my um. I think I got some ice in my um refrigerator. Sure. Yeah. Do the convenience store have ice? You just got a nice dispenser. Oh, know, the yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can get some ice out of there. Maybe they'll uh, charge you a quarter or something. You know. A quarter. If I bring my own cup. Oh, if you get your own cup. I got my own cup. Yeah. Uh oh. They getting kind of busy, huh? I got a dollar. That should be enough for some ice. You can do it, lady. You can do it. Three, they stay open to 10 o'clock. So, y'all, I got my food. I got my food. So, got my crab legs. What they got over here? It's right here. Oh, Which, oh, they don't shut down, huh? I didn't even know it. Okay. Well, Sorry, that's man. okay. That's all right. I got some ice in the um. I got some ice in my okay. um. Although I can put it over in a gas station too. No, nah, that's fine. I got some ice in my um, in my truck. So I can I should smell be... those spices. Can you smell it? I, I, have to <laughs> I, smell it. I didn't even know I was hungry. Yes, indeed. You gonna go home and cook? All my daughters. Cook. Oh, your daughter. How old your daughter is? Sixteen. You got a 16 year old daughter? Mm -hmm. What? She's a good girl. Oh my good, you married? Uh, yep. I'm How long married. you been married? Uh, 18 years. 18 years? 18 years. What? To the same woman? The same woman. I heard that. She killed me by if I married somebody else. What? <laughs> you must be a good man. I do oh, right. have mercy. Stay with you for 18 years. You a good, that's what you call a good man. Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, this is how the crab legs look, y'all. I don't want to. I'm not gonna get it in your car, so I'm okay. not gonna open it. But this is how it looks. So I went and picked up my crab legs, and oh, it smells so good. Got it in a bag. I wonder. I hope she gave me some uh, wipes, and I need a bib. I need all kinds of stuff. But all right, so we're gonna ride back to the uh, truck. Put my seat down. We gonna ride back to the truck and uh and drop me off and I'm gonna go get in my truck and that's it, y'all. So other than that, what else I was talking about? Um, but yeah, mass is gonna be the twenty. I think it's like the twenty fifth through the 29th. It's gonna be three days. I'm gonna come out on Wednesday and I'm gonna um go to let's see. Louisville, Kentucky. I live in St. Louis. Can you help me? I have a CDL permit. I work at the boat downtown doing housekeeping. See before I was scared. You see me at the casino? Shut up. Why are you scared to talk to me at the casino? You ain't gotta be scared to talk to me at the we say you say Miss Dava? Girl, is that you? Yeah, that's me. Um uh oh. But uh 
Yeah, if you see me at the casino, don't ever be afraid to uh, say so. I have seen you before, but I was scared to talk to you, PCU and Mississippi. Don't ever be afraid. You know, I had somebody come up and deliver room service <laughs> that knew who I was. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. How about Arshan, right? Y'all, this is this for real. How about Arshan had ordered a Lyft driver in Lake City, Florida? Okay, he ordered a Lyft driver in Lake City, Florida to go somewhere. And how about he told the Lyft driver that his mama drove trucks? Um, she was a truck driver and she do like YouTube videos, right? And he, I guess he asked her what her name is. Or Sean told him what my name is by on YouTube as Miss Diva Trucker. How about the Lyft driver that Arshan had that was taking him some somewhere knew who I was? <laughs> Arshan say, "Mom, these men down here in Lake City know who you are." He said he watch your YouTube channel. I said, "What?" He said, "Yeah." Um. But no, y'all, we on our way down to uh back to the to the truck, and so I can eat. I'm so excited. I'm so happy now. I got my crab legs now. You can't tell me nothing, okay? But um, other than that, I'm excited about this weekend. So what we're going to do is this weekend, once we get once I get down there to the hotel on Friday, Yolanda will be there on Friday. If y'all don't know, Yolanda Tapping from Divas with a Driven Purpose is the one that's hosting the event, okay? I'm just helping to spread the word and to uh, make sure we get people out there to support, okay? But this was actually Yolanda Tappins and her group. She has a nonprofit organization called Divas with a Driven Purpose. Um, they are they are female drivers, okay, that do a lot of good in the uh, trucking community. So I teamed up with her, and um, I teamed up with her, and um, 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 just to get the word out, okay. So we will be doing that this weekend. But when we get there. Friday, we're going to do a meetup just to see who's there. Saturday, I think about 8 o'clock, we're going to start with the truck convoy uh, down there to um, Clarksdale, Mississippi. After that, the uh, family is going to say something. We're going to do a balloon release. Then we're going to go over to the place to eat. Um, the lady said that she's going to have a tent set up for us. Um, so we're going to go over there to eat and just fellowship uh yolanda's getting a cake or whatever the case may be and uh, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves for the day so hopefully i'll be back on the road sunday um if not by monday okay uh, what else uh, let me see y'all ask me something okay research getting into the trucking school is actually i'm preparing things for home uh, before i leave need yeah i only have y'all know i only have two schools right now um swift and cr england are my two schools that i have but i have 50 other companies so if you already got your license i got a lot of other options that i will have uh for you if you are an experienced driver i got a lot of options for you um but yeah yeah, and I got to do some work tonight on applications. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll probably be on the phone for the rest of the night trying to get everybody applications together and get them submitted. I've been slacking. I was slacking last week because, you know, the truck show took up so much of my time. But I got to get myself together. I had two people come to LTI last week. They got their trucks. Yeah. And, um just getting back in the swing of things so probably i will have some time friday but you know you could always pick up the phone and call me if i don't answer that means that i'm either on another line like talking to somebody or um i'm at a shipper or something okay i just don't i just don't be ignoring calls it just be like if i'm in a conversation or i'm talking to somebody i just don't flip over you know and be like hold on when somebody like in deep conversation or having a conversation with them so i like to wait and finish whatever it is that they got to say and then you know take the next call because i flip over and i've been and forgot you on the other line <laughs> i forgot you on the other line. and i'm gonna start a whole new conversation and forgot that somebody else was on the phone i don't did that before okay um but that's it i think that's it 
so other than that y'all i'm on my way back to the truck and peace love joy and happiness and y'all have a wonderful and blessed like y'all don't have any other questions for me huh while i'm sitting still you know y'all gotta get me while i'm sitting still how many people have trained oh i think about maybe 10 15 10 15 girls over the past time of me uh, being at KLLM and uh, LTI, I would say about either 10 to 15 people that I've trained. I uh, only had maybe two that didn't upgrade. Everybody else upgrade. Everybody else did their time and they upgrade. I only had two that, the only people that don't upgrade is the ones that don't finish. That's it. But if you stay on the truck with me for three weeks, baby, you don't upgrade. I need your number to discuss. Um, call me on my 800 number, the 800-620-9235. Um, call me on that number because uh, my voicemail doesn't fill up on that number. So, But, yeah, once I get to the truck, I'm going to get myself all situated and get myself um, set up to eat my meal. And... Um, and um then if you need me you can call me yep if you need me that you can call me but let's see but i never answer i know truck i'm sorry thank you for everything but you can ask me now so you got me right here ask me right now you can ask me right now if you want to but if it's if it's something different, you know, I mean, that you don't want to ask in front of everybody, I can understand that. But um, um, you can always ask me on here. Uh, let's see. Well, I want to know if you still train. No, I'm not training for a while. I'm a little burnt out on training. And I can't focus on training like I want to. So, it's my, you, your mind got to be right to train and you got to be in the right mindset to train and you know i get i get excited when i get a new student and stuff like that to help train and then when they're not enthusiastic and they don't reciprocate that same energy it just brings the whole thing down and i be like uh you know i don't like that draining energy i don't like it at all you know if you're gonna do something you might as well do it and not and knock it out the park why do something and be miserable doing it. I don't understand that. I never understood that. Um, but yeah, I like to have a good time. I like to enjoy myself. You know, you you gonna get on the truck with me and have an attitude and everything is wrong in the world and nothing right in the world. It's just it affects me, and I don't need that type of energy on a truck, especially you know when we out here trying to do do something um, safe. You know, we got to have a good attitude. We got to have good energy. You got to want to do it. You got to want to get up. You got to want to learn. You know, I can't force this on you. I can't make you do it. So, you know, it's just disappointing when you have people out here that just don't want to just, I don't know what you come out here for. You know, I really don't get it. It's like, what did you expect? It's a hustling type environment. You know, you got people crying over driving 200 miles. Like, for real? Come on now. How you going to make your money? Driving 200 miles a day, making 38 cents a mile. How you? What you? What you doing with your life? <laughs> you know, you got to hustle. You got to get it out here. So you know, when I see a go getter, when I see somebody that's enthusiastic and want to learn this and want to have it together and take it serious, that's a whole nother thing. You know, that what motivates me and gets me excited. I want to give back to them what the energy that they're giving to me. You know, I don't want nobody all just uh, draining. You know, the sun shining and they think it's raining. And, you know, nothing you say is just ever happy. Yeah, I just have to stay away from stuff like that, y'all. You know, I'm out here, which I, what people realize, well, y'all know, I'm out here, like, by myself, you know what I'm saying? And it's so easy to get uh, depressed. It's so easy to feel bad out here. It, it's so easy to do that. And then when you get somebody on your truck and they just like a Debbie Downer or a Drainer or just 
just don't have any kind of it just sucks the life out of me you know and it, I just get oof, and I don't like feeling that way I like to get the job done I like to get excited I like to go on my shippers and receivers with a smile on my face ask them how they doing you know I want to give out the same energy I want the same energy back that I give out so if I come and I'm and I'm hello how you doing or whatever I want you to reciprocate that to me you know, I don't want you just, uh, I can't, when am I going home, and, uh, and how long do I got to drive, and can I, have to get, I'm hungry, I got to go to the bathroom, I got to do the every five minutes, I mean, my goodness, can we get down the road sometime today, please, help me, Lord, help me help you, folks out here 21 years old. I keep the dragon. What you dragging up? Let's go. So, but you know, you can't make people do what you want them to do. And when I find myself in that situation, I just have to, you know, do things by myself. Sometimes the best way to do things is you do it by yourself. So that's what I do. I just do it by myself. You know. I don't have to worry nobody about nothing. I mean, I get up and do this every day. I don't, I don't let this bother me. I think it's a great opportunity for a lot of people, you know, to be able to, to, to get out here on the road, you know. A lot of people would like to have this opportunity and they, they, they can't. They wish they could. You know, so many people that try to apply to get a license or whatever the case may be and they get turned down every day like people don't give them chances and you don't even realize like there's people that you know either like got out of jail or want to change their life or made a mistake in their life and they would do anything to have an opportunity to be out here on the road driving trucks and they can't you know because of what they did in their past or whatever the case may be and here you is got an opportunity to do it And mess it up you know i don't get that i don't understand it but you know if you talk to the people that i talk to on a daily basis that just wish that you know they had an opportunity or what that will do anything to 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 get their license and stuff like that man it will make you change your mind you know to start appreciating some of the things that you have um let me see a dedicated uh dedicated to nova scope what you go to canada i ain't never been to canada but i know i ain't trying to go either not in the winter time i don't think no I, I don't think i could do canada probably in the summer i could do it i could do it in the summertime but you know to me is being out here in this truck being out here on the road you know it, it's a blessing to me i'm able to get up every day you know, I got a purpose. I can get up and, and do something and go somewhere. I'm not just sitting at the house looking at TV all the time, you know, not doing nothing with my life. I'm able to get up in the morning and, and have somewhere to go. I got appointments to make. I got loads to deliver. I got, you know, shippers I got to go to, you know, and whenever I want to take a ride to go get me some crab legs, I do that. you know what I'm saying? I work hard. So, you know, I just wish some people uh, would appreciate that, you know, that you got to live your life to the fullest every day. Every day you got to live your life to the fullest and you can't let people hold you back. You got to get out here and do it. You can't depend on nobody. Like, for example, if I start working tomorrow, there is nobody that's going to take care of Miss Tamara. Okay. Nobody. If I stop working tomorrow, if I just say, give up and say, you know what, I can't take this anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. And I start feeling sorry for myself and all this other kind of stuff. And if I stop doing this tomorrow, there will not be a check coming in. If I stop recruiting, if I stop doing videos, if I stop driving, if I stop all of that and get in my feelings like, you know, woe is me. You know, I'm out here by myself. I ain't got no help. Ain't nobody going to do this for me but me. That's why I got to do it. People don't understand. Some people don't understand. But if you out here like this, you get it. 
You know what it is. You know what that hustle mentality is about. So if I'm going to be out here doing it, I might as well be in the right mindset. I might as well be positive. Ain't no use of being out here being miserable because I ain't going to do nothing but eat you up alive. So you might as well get out here and have a good time with it. Enjoy yourself. Do what you want to do. I ain't got nobody over my head. Ain't nobody tell me to clock out. Ain't nobody going to tell me to clock in in the morning. You know, I'm off. I, done, I made it here. I got my delivery. Go do my thing or whatever the case may be and keep it moving. That's it, y'all. So, I have made it. Oh, the other driver out here. All right, miss. Thank you so much. I really see 6757. You see it now? <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Take care now. No problem. I will. Oh, let me get everything. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Get on my laptop. Y'all want to see the um? Wait a minute, y'all. I want to show y'all this. Hold on, let me see. I think I gotta stop playing, y'all. I gotta get off of here because I know I got work to do. I gotta be playing. People be mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I, I'm just. I work at my own pace. Let me see. I said, Miss Diva, I'm mad at you. Don't be mad at me. I'm doing the best I can. I probably, I be doing the best I can. If y'all would see what I be having going on, Lord Jesus. Honey. I'm telling you, I be on the phone from the time I get up in the morning to the time I go to bed. And I want to treat everybody the same. Okay, let me show y'all. This is the tra trailer I want, y'all. Look. I want this trailer right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. But this is the one that I talked to the man to order. So, th this is it. Ain't that going to be nice? That is going to be nice. Okay, so this is the travel trailer that I want to have set up at Matt's. Okay? So this is what we're going for. This is what we're going for. Nice bed, shower, okay? There's some extra beds in there, but don't plan on staying with me, okay? I'm gonna be by myself. Um, a little fireplace, cooking thing, refrigerator outside. You know, he gonna set up a little patio, but it's a 2020 
uh, travel trailer. Now that was one of them, but this is the one that I want. I'm going to show y'all the one that I actually want, y'all. This one is like... But if you get one like this, look at this, y'all. This one... The only thing I don't like about these is that they're so expensive. They're like $400 a night and um, they don't have they don't have the slide outs like I want. So that will just show you. I don't think I'm going to get that. I think this is what I'm looking for. I'm going to show y'all what I'm looking for really quickly. Hold on. Let me show you. It's called, um, it's called, it's called, let's see, Toy Hauler. Okay, let me show y'all the Toy Hauler. Those are the ones that have these porches on them. Let me see if this is one of them. Okay, see, this one has a porch. That's what I'm looking for. I want one that has a porch on it so we can sit outside on the back porch, okay? And, um, but that's how it looks on the inside. And they're like, uh, some of them are like $150 a night or whatever the case may be. But, um, yeah, these are real nice. They real nice. So they don't, they're not that expensive. So they only like $150. Got the TV. Um, you could cook. Uh, they got the showers and all that kind of stuff. So it's called, this one is called a toy hauler. So instead of having, um, instead of having um, just my truck or getting the Airbnb, because you got to go and, um, get to the place and back and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and they have golf cart. They have the golf carts, y'all. They got the golf cart. So, let me see. Which one? It's another one. Give me one second. It's called Outdoorsy. Let me show you the one that I'm thinking about. It's either going to be the big one and just type in Louisville, Kentucky, pick up date on um march the 25th and bringing it back on the 29th the um and let's see toy hauler travel trailer There was one that I saw that was just... See, somebody calling me right now. See, I can't just stop talking to y'all and go talk to somebody else. <laughs> they gonna be mad? Like, I done called you and you ain't answer the phone. I was on my live. I'm trying to talk to the people on my live. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Mm. Hold on one second, y'all. I saw it last night. This joker right here is amazing, okay? Uh, let me see. But it was one I saw that has... You know, when you're looking for something, you can't find it when you're looking for it. And then you got to watch it. Now, see, this one I like. I like this one, too. You see that one? That one right there, it has the uh, toy hauler thing on it. Nice bed and everything. And, um... But there was one... They got fireplaces in them and everything. So it may be a little chilly out there, 
but um yeah this is what i want travel trailer is what i want and i want one that got like the lights on the outside you know um, they got a TV on the outside and a kitchen on the outside. I can't find the one that I'm looking for. But I want to have a little fire pit so we could like do some s'mores. See, this is nice. Look at that one. This is like $120. That's like 100 Got your kitchen got everything that you need in there that's hundred and twenty dollars so you got your living room your TV all that kind of stuff so that's what I'm gonna get for the match truck show but other than that y'all peace love joy happiness I'm gonna go and start so I can eat my food and then I'm gonna start working on my application I just want to say hello and then I'm up here but next I'm going down to um, yeah it's not that bad Nikki but make sure if you get one um, make sure if you get one that they give you the unlimited uh um generator um um the unlimited gener unlimited generator use okay you'll have to put your fuel in it but uh i was like can i take showers? and he was like well you got to fill up the water thing to take showers but it's going to be totally totally self-contained so, you know, I want to bake some cookies. I want to cook breakfast in the morning. You know, I, I just want to um, just be out there in truck parking. I don't want to get no Airbnb. I want to I want to be out there where everybody at. So then when it's time to go, all I got to do is go in my little RV and go to sleep, get up the next morning, take the shuttle over to the place. And we're going to be camping right there at truck parking. It'll be my first little camping thing, okay? So other than that, y'all, peace, love, joy, happiness, and y'all have a wonderful and blessed night. Bye.